While the look of Memorial Stadium has changed immensely over the last hundred years, the love for the game and for the team hasn't. I've often considered Memorial Stadium the Carnegie Hall of college football. And Memorial Stadium seen amazing performances the past 100 years, watching them the greatest fans in college football. The Cornhuskers were, of course, the bug eaters when they played for coach Frank Crawford in 1893, and they played on Nebraska Field. Then World War I happened, and in 1918, Roscoe Dusty Rhodes, captain of the NU Football Club, died in France. Talk started of building a stadium to honor those who sacrificed their lives for this country. And fundraising began in 1920. Groundbreaking was held in April of 1923, and just six months later, the first games played, with Nebraska beating Wisconsin 24 to nothing. It was originally going to be a gymnasium, stadium, and war museum complex called the Nebraska Soldiers and Sailors Memorial. Philosophy professor Hartley Burr Alexander got that, writing the words etched in the stadium's corners. Not the victory, but the action. In the deed, the glory. Courage, generosity, fairness, honor. And a statement about the fallen ends with, They held their country's trust, they kept its faith, they died its heroes. Now, over the past century, the stadium's changed. It opened, seating 3,100 fans. That jumped to 64,000 when the north and south end zones were added. Fifty years later, it officially holds 85,000 and the record for the most consecutive sellouts in NCAA history. It's seen coaching royalty, Hall of Famers Edward N. Robinson, Fielding Yost, Dana Bible, Biff Jones, Frank Solich, and the two most notable, Bob Devaney and Tom Osborne. In fact, Osborne's 95 Huskers are often called the greatest team in college football history. And of course, the field where the Cornhuskers play has been named after him. This was Dr. Tom in 1998. The relationships are the thing that counts. Uh, the rings have been fine, the championships, uh, all the wins. But the thing that I'll always carry with me is the memories of the players and the coaches and the people I've come to know. And uh, it has really been a tremendous thing for me, and I'll never forget any one of you. So thank you very much. Memorial Stadium seen three Heisman winners, 46 conference and five national titles, and hundreds of thousands of fans making memories within the stadium's walls and outside of them. The famed Sea of Red soaking in the experience even to this day.